Tonight, IMPD is investigating allegations laid out in a lawsuit against IPS schools that says a former teacher encouraged students to attack and fight a seven year old in the classroom. We showed you last night video allegedly taken by that teacher that the lawsuit says was accidentally shown to the child's parents during a meeting. The lawsuit says the second grader at George Washington Carver School 87, who has special needs, was subject to quote fight club type discipline in his classroom over the span of about three months. WRTV's Naja Wood joins us now live in studio. And Naja, this situation has started a conversation about conflict resolution and transparency. Nicole, yes, it definitely has. State Representative Becky Cash is among those calling for that transparency. She says she was outraged after watching that video, and now it has even reignited her push to get cameras in all classrooms. This past legislative session, Cash pushed for House Bill 1073, which would have required cameras in the classroom, particularly in special needs classes. However, it was shut down. Cash and the attorneys representing the family of the second grader believe the measure will benefit all kids, especially those with disabilities, who are usually the most vulnerable. I will likely go in and ask for cameras in all classrooms uh, in all schools in 2025. It is absolutely essential. We yes, we are advocating uh, for lots of these issues for children and have met with some of the legislators and we will continue to do that. Now, on top of the conversation about cameras in the classroom, the video is also sparking discussions about conflict resolutions from local youth leaders. Reverend Malachi Walker runs Young Men Incorporated. The youth ministry has been around for more than three decades and helps teach young men starting in elementary school the importance of conflict resolution. He also stresses the importance of adults setting good examples for kids of healthy ways to resolve issues. That's not the way that you can get young people together to settle conflict. Conflict uh, is something that we all need to know, even in not only just a young age, but as we get older. Uh, otherwise, people want to use guns to solve their conflict and think that's the way to go, but it's not. So we got to start young. Now, IMPD is now investigating this case. It would be up to the Marion County Prosecutor's Office to bring any criminal charges. IPS says it reached out to DCS about the incidents laid out in the lawsuit back in October, and the teacher involved resigned just days later.